Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Witcher 3, where we're doing the Night of Long Fangs. That's our quest right now. Everybody's that Ooh, everything's on fire. There are vampires everywhere. Regis, can you tell him to chill? my stuff on? I should. Vampires would heed a higher vampire's call of commands. As a rule, they don't. So how Deadlaugh set them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He manages to bend them to his will, control them with his thoughts. They'll continue attacking Yikes. until he orders them to back down. Until he... Whoa, ow! Ow! It would be cool to see Oriana again. Holy crap, is that a kid? Unfair! Concoctions are gone. Uh, um, oh, I guess I can at least have that. Can I meditate right now? Oh, wait. Oh, dang, wait. That's right, I took the... Oh, nice! Thank you, game! a lot like to look wow this city was like blow itself didn't kill him bled to death afterwards if we'd only arrived a bit earlier they broke formation ran that's it it's david's blood he was wounded let's go this was a really beautiful city i really liked wandering around in it and now it's covered in blood and, and there's dead people everywhere and I, I can't help you barricade put up in the street pointless that's an obstacle to have they didn't know i didn't get a chance to prepare them well freaking whose fault that was your fault you knew he was coming 
right, they're the red-headed ones. And Abraxa. He's bleeding a lot. Ow! Stop, vampires! Oh boy. Must be in the bank. Eric here. Let's see if there's something. Let's manage it. I'm certain you will. Oh, okay, bye. Uh, bye! Yeah, you wouldn't want to be a nice vampire in this city right now. Small game. You can do it. You can do it. Me and my vanilla coke believe in you. Wow, though, like the decimation that's going on in this city right now. Like, people are being torn to shreds. It's insane. I hope my game hasn't broken. I had to restart. You killed it single handedly. That harlot's brood slaughtered half my unit. I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw, you and your men, now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again, your men don't stand a chance. Not against monsters, my dude. Men, tend to the wounded and prepare to march out. <sighs> Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver, that's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists Order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can. Churn it out in gallons. Then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. About that. Um, no, actually, it was an infinite loading screen right before this, and I had to restart the game. Uh, so that was fun. I only had to go through about like, a couple minutes to get back here. I have a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial in custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. Ah. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Maybe he does disagree. Folk are dying. Many more will because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. Why does my Girls controller keep dying? After it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. 
Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locks Siana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Me too, my man. Let's go, Regis. My controller might actually be dying this time. I might actually have to change the batteries. I'm hoping for not a cutscene. Yes. Here, the playroom's beyond this door. How do you know? No, no. Okay, so while I change the batteries, um, it's the playroom makes sense, right? Because like, I feel like the Duchess has like lost her mind a little bit. Um, concerning Sienna, uh, she's like, she's like, oh, she can't get away while she's in here. Like, she won't want to leave. I'll make sure she, I'll like remind her of our childhood and like, blah 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 blah, and and she'll love me again, and I won't feel guilty for the things that happened when I was young and couldn't do anything, and for all the years I didn't hunt her down apparently, and try to solve this mistake and. But Siona just wants to watch the world burn. That's my thing. That's what I'm thinking. So. She's being, mis the Duchess is being misled and Siona is gonna try to kill her, I bet. Whoa! Boy! Well, uh, thank you. Uh, wow, that was fast. You did that very fast. Thank you. Why did it switch? It's in here, right? Ooh. Ooh. You just wanna take care of it for me? Yeah, thank you. Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with this door. Do you mind? Not at all. What are you gonna do? You gonna open it from the other side? That's dangerous. Thanks. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Search the playroom to see what happened to Siana, okay. Yep. Oh my gosh. Rocking horse. Rather worn. I suppose it got a lot of use. Miniature tableware. And plush toys. They still had the playroom Cute. up? Even though nobody used it? Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Yeah. Nice tune. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I despise these things. Mirrors? <laughs> Uh, do you not see yourself in the mirror, Regis? Because I probably don't either. The carpet, though. Yeah, I don't see myself either. I must be a vampire. I'm trying to... It's like an awkward angle. Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. You know. Locked. Hmm. A doll? I don't want a doll. Uh, what the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. 
The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Well, it's gonna... Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Poor Siana kid. does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Maybe cursed she was cursed. Son. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. <laughs> Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Whoa. Henrietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Yeah. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Rockfall wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Mesh. Don't interrupt. What? I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, last warning. <laughs> Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. <laughs> the girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Huh. That is interesting. I wonder if it'll... Is that where they are? Are they in an illusion? Right now? Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blood is damned or cursed. What's accuser? In the melodious tongue of our non too friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. <laughs> Gosh. Mm, realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Creepy! Creepy, 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 creepy. Is it. Oh. A tin knight. Okay. Well, well. The key tucked behind a picture. What's in... What's in here? it? Let's see. 
Let's see. It's buckled shut, you idiot. Expecto Ludum. Please come with me, Regis. Don't leave me alone in this fairy tale world where there's a crazy lady. <sighs> to be fair, she did not start out crazy. It was simply forced upon her. Regis? Regis. All Regis has to do is read the book, too. This is cool. A fairy tale. Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. It is really cool. Giant mushrooms guarantee mm -hmm. that you're in a fantasy world. Let's see where this road takes me. Yellow ring road. <laughs> It is a yellow brick road! I have Nahelanes going wild. All lands an illusion. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. A waffle chinger? Is this, um... Is this all, like, French fables? What's those big noises, though? Well, the, the following thing is the other way, but... Whoa! Oh! What? You're here? What? Hang on. Who is that? Oops. Who died in here? are gone again. Hang on. Can't meditate. Oh, I'm in a fight. Okay, that makes sense. That's okay, though. I just want to take the Oriole. And the... Actually, I don't remember what the plants are. Was it an arachnase? No, Carol, I wanted you to go up. Ar Archaeospore, is that, do I have anything for that? It's like a, it's a dwarf. Oh, he's oh, it's one of the seven dwarves. With Snow White's poisoned apple. Trying to mm, yeah. The 
would be interesting to kind of wander around. Oh, uh, looks like it probably keeps Let you him out. Let him out. Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread. Now it's my turn to gobble him. I mean, this is like Hansel and Gretel stuff. Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it. Hi. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. Okay. Wicked witch! What, are we fighting? sword is uh, damaged. Okay. I do have something that can fix that. Uh, yeah. Oh, frick. Why doesn't it go to the one that's automatically damaged? Like, why would I, why would I want to fix the one that isn't damaged? Like, the one that isn't like, I'm damaged, you know?
time. Good thing I have 80,000 of these. you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. Have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Hmm? Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but... but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home, for instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anurietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. But, but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know, because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoot. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care Moore and his little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had <laughs> toys. Never played any games. <laughs> what do you think? Why might I be here? It's Deadloff. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadloff, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. Uh, no, actually, I'm just my coming to drag you out. Surprises, isn't it? Well, normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say... Folk are dying who have nothing to do with you it. You don't care! Not part of the plan. Deadloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Really? We're... Does anybody shake? I don't think even, like, nobles shake hands. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you... 
You don't belong here, so you had best be on your watch. Since you brought it up, the knights Dedloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Duloc, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Aha. Uh -huh. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even I'm met a mutant. one of you. Renfrey of Creighton. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Yeah. I'm not saying she started evil, but apparently she does care that she only wants the people, if she's telling the truth, she only wants the people who actually harmed her to die, which includes Anna Henrietta. So I don't know if there's anything for her, for Anna left in her heart or what. I don't know. I don't think she so much cares as she's, it's, it's more of like a, about the people who are dying. It's just like a, it's just like, you don't want that really, like generally. Like even if you're not like a good person, like you're just like, oh, it's just messy. You know, it's just unnecessary. Um, so, yeah. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. Gird myself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle. This is cool. The clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Hmm. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Why? Why am I leading? You're the one who knows the place. It's your fairy tale world that's devolving into magical entropy. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. You should be leading! So, what exactly is happening in the city? Murder, mayhem. Bloodshed, a massacre, which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the fatal sphere. We can stay here a week, but outside mere minutes will have passed. Of course it does, you know? Watch out! Pixies! Pixie! I don't know how to fight pixies. Hang on. No, 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 Pixie! Hang on. Possibly, 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 possibly. Pixies I've met. Put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Weird. 
Okay, whew, okay. Okay. Um, what else was I gonna... Oh, actually, this would probably be a good place to call it, I think. I hope it's not too short, um, what with the interruptions I had of having to restart the game completely. Um, but was there something else? Oh, Pixie. I was gonna read the Pixie entry really quick. Beast, Curse One, Elementia, maybe. Pixie. Look, Pixies, we should go. Now, come on, what harm can cute little Pixies do to us? The last words of two criminals who broke into the land of a thousand fables. Identities unknown. They broke in. Interesting. Pixies might look like gentle, harmless creatures, yet in their case, the saying about appearances being deceiving fits all too well perfect all too well perfectly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can read English. The Pixies from the Land of a Thousand Fables were created to protect the magic place from intruders and ensure that the ducal daughters, Sylvia Anna and Anna Henrietta did not e come to even the slightest harm. Thus, whenever anyone else crossed the Pixies' path, it ended badly for them. For Pixies are aggressive, warlike creatures created to kill, defend, and fight till they can fight no more. Poor Pixies. What else did I pick up? Relics. Short crone, Doppler, Fiends, Godling, Leshen, Morbid. Sylvan. Wicked Witch! That's right. Once upon a time, there was a wicked witch. Every day after supper, she'd drink a glass of freshly squeezed corpse juice. Yeah. Carl Grimm. Uh huh, Grimm. Writer of children's fables. Though evil witches are often considered creatures born of overactive imaginations of fabulous and mythologists, cartoonish characters only a child would ever be frightened of, there are accounts of men who claim to have happened to cross one of these improbable beings. All these accounts agree that the witch not only did in fact eat men, but had mastered the cooking of humans to a fine art. They are said to be particularly fond of children's liver fried in butter and served in a saffron sauce, balsamic vinegar, marinated fingers, roasted to a golden crisp, and yes, even freshly squeezed corpse juice. It should be noted here that all the above-mentioned witnesses who swore they saw such a witch were patients of the Elander Institute for the Mentally Ill. Thus, the veracity of their testimony is highly debatable. Interesting! Well, why do you think they ended up in the, in the, in the home? You know what I mean? But, gross! That was like that was like oddly specific. Like somebody had a good time writing that, you know. But anyway, I think I will head out here. So thank you all once again for joining me in this magical fairy tale land, and I'll see you in the next one.